guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing a face mask Friday and I have such a special item here. My very best friend, Melissa, who you can see in the last episode's face mask Friday, brought me back this Cherichan mask collection Sailor Moon mask from Hong Kong when she was visiting there last. This is what I'm gonna be trying out today. This is the Cherichan mask Kara, Kara Chan, Kara Chan mask collection mask. You can see it's Sailor Moon. The back is all Japanese. It seems to be for the 25th anniversary of Sailor Moon. It cost her 44 Hong Kong dollars, which works out to about 750 Canadian. The instructions are pretty standard. You put it on your face, press it lightly, and then take it off after 10 to 15 minutes, and then tap it into your skin. The brand here is Clear Beauty, which I've never heard of, and you can see they're Japanese only. They do not accept customer service inquiries from outside of Japan. And this is official Sailor Moon stuff, you guys. It's official and it's, of course, made in Japan. The Sasa.com website is basically a Hong Kong beauty site. Um, they ship to Canada, they ship to the States. They did not have any more of these Sailor Moon masks. I guess they were limited edition, but they do have other Sailor Moon goods, including Moonstick lip products, which look amazing. Um, heart compacts and powders, eyeliners, that kind of thing. And they range in price from about 10 to 60 US dollars. I was looking for a little bit more information on this particular mask and I couldn't find anything on Sasa. So on Yes Style, they had a little bit of a write up on it. And it does say the sheet comes in Sailor Moon pattern, Chippy Moon or Luna. And it's an alcohol-free formula containing alpha arbutin, collagen, daisy extract, and sage to moisturize and condition the skin with a rose scent. Clear Beauty belongs to Bandai, the toy, anime, and video company in Japan. Um, and I guess they do random collections for different animes. There's our introduction to Clear Beauty and Sasa Beauty. Let's try out this Karachan mask. Cherican? Karakan mask. It's actually Friday morning instead of the evening. <laughs> I actually have a big lunch meeting that I have to attend to. So I thought before I put on my makeup, I could do a little power up here with a face mask. It's very bright as you can see. It's very saturated but not dripping. Her little hair things actually stick up over the mask. And her eyes are cutouts, which I guess you can flip up or down as you see fit. One side is definitely clearly the outside side. It's a little bit darker and more intensely printed. Do, 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 do. Sailor Moon. Oops, oops. Okay. I don't really want my hair to get wet, but. So this is what it looks like on. Um, it feels like a regular mask, a regular sheet. Nothing too special aside from the pattern. It does have a light rose sound like they say, and it seems to leave your skin a little tacky, at least on my fingers. So I'm probably gonna want to rinse after this one. But for now, let me check back after 10, 15, um, and we'll take it off. So here we go. All right, it's been 15 minutes, I'm back, and yeah, there was no sensations or anything. It just feels, it still feels really nice and moist and moisturizing. Um, I did notice the fit of the mask, it's like very skinny, but extremely long with a really generous nose size. But I don't know, it just feels like an unusually long mask, especially with the hair balls. <laughs> I also know she has a cute TR, her hair curls down. Her nose is tiny and I think that's her mouth. It kind of looks like a mustache or the bottom of her nose. And she's got her little crescent moon earrings. Just a really cute little mask. Gonna take it off now and tap in the essence. So this mask definitely is a moisturizing mask. My feel, skin feels nice and refreshed. 
I am definitely going to rinse my skin because I do not like that slight feeling left on your skin. Plus, like I said, I am going to be putting on makeup. This was kind of a wake up and prep glam time mask. Overall, what do I think about the mask itself? The mask was underwhelming in a great way. Uh, the scent was pretty underwhelming. It was easy to use, it fit well, it stayed damp the whole time. The design was delightful. For $7 for this one-time experience to experience this Sailor Moon lifestyle fantasy moment, I think it was definitely worthwhile. So uh, obviously I would recommend I would repurchase if you could. The other two designs are pretty cute. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Chibi Moon though. I would just go for Luna. I really enjoyed it. Thanks again to Melissa for bringing that back to me from Hong Kong. It was a delight. And if you guys see one around and you can get it for a good price, I would say snap it up. If you had a chance to try one, definitely let me know what your thoughts were on it down below. Well, that's it for this quick face mask Friday. If you enjoyed it, let me know. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you love Sailor Moon. And let me know who your favorite Sailor Moon character was. Mine was always traditionally Jupiter growing up because I had brown hair and uh, I was like a tomboy. But uh, I feel very spiritually aligned with Ray because we're both Aries. But uh, I was never into the high heels. Huge shout out to my girl Melissa, her favorite Sailor Scout, Sailor Mercury nerd. Huge shout out to my patrons for helping bring these videos to you guys. Huge thanks to you for watching. And with that, I will see you in my next beauty video on Monday. Bye guys.